Hey guys, hope you're doing great. Um, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on Max Bass. This is a fun plugin made by Waves and it's a really useful tool. It does exactly what it says it's going to do. It adds the max amount of bass you, that you can get. Um, from what I understand, it adds upper harmonic frequencies of the bass resonance, so it gives the illusion that, that the bass is actually bigger than it is. So this can be useful when you're um, when you've got smaller speakers, say laptop speakers or say headphones, it adds, it makes the bass stand out more when you don't actually have that large woofer pumping out the bass. Um, this is mostly used on, you know, your overall mix, but this can be used on any sound effect, like if you have an explosion or if you've got, you know, a bass instrument or even like a guitar and you just want to add some woofiness or some chunkiness to it, this can be really useful. The quickest way to get started with this is all you need to know is this little fader adds more of the effect. See that yellow? So if nothing else, you can just slap this on your mix and start bringing this up, this fader up until you until you, you like the sound. So I can show you what that sounds like. So let's let's play here. Hear what it's doing there? So as I bring this up, it's adding more of the effect, and as I take it down, it's taking it out completely. Now, kind of a, a great place to start is I just go to, you know, the presets here, and I just hit light. And you can kind of see where it's resonating. They've changed the, the frequency up to 85. I start here, and then I either bring this, the, the, the slider up for more effect and bring it down for less. So let's uh, keep playing here. And another thing to note here is this slider right here tells you where where the, the resonance is starting or focusing on. So this is at 85. If we slide it you know, up, it starts around 100. This goes even lower. So this will uh, affect the sound a bit. I, I'll, I'll slide this up and down so you can hear the difference here. Now let's start over. kind of hear how it's changing the sound completely just by messing with this little fader. So I personally don't mess with decay, high pass, response ratio, all of this stuff. I'm sure it is useful, but uh, for sake of time and just simplicity, all you have to focus on is this fader and this resonance, and you can do a ton with that. Um, I can show you what this will do, like say we slapped it on, we've, I've got a little guitar here, Let's see what happens if we slap it on top of that. And see, I wouldn't use this in this mix because it's putting too much presence, too much low end on the guitar, but do you hear how it's adding that chunkiness and that beefiness? 
So let's say you had, you know, um, this as a solo instrument and you wanted it to have more of that bass resonance or something else. You can just, you can um, add this to that instrument uh, and it'll add that beefiness and that chunkiness in a way that EQ won't. Um, so anyways, hope that was helpful to you guys. Hope this gets you up and running. If you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments below and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.